What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to teach you how to do all the brush strokes, title intros that I have in my videos. A lot of people have been asking for it. It's actually quite simple. Um, here's what it looks like. Best times you anomaly And I choose you Okay, well I hope you like that. Now this episode I'm gonna teach you how to do that and then next episode I'm gonna teach you how to camera track and make it 3D and how to be immersive in your videos. But first, let's get into how do I create these brush strokes. It's actually quite simple. I can use the pen. I am on iPad. So I use Procreate to do all my brushes. Yes, I actually draw every single one of these brushes. It's not a 3D effect or anything inside Premiere Pro. It's just a lot easier through brush strokes and let me show you why. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use Procreate, you can use any of those uh, painting brush applications. As long as you learn the principles, uh, you can implement this in other applications as well. I just like to use Procreate because it has a lot of variety of different brushes. Okay, as you open up Procreate, you can see we have a blank canvas, but it has a white background. So let's change that to black. It's very important that we have the background in black because everything in black is transparent in our videos and everything white is visible. Remember that, okay? I like to use the turpentine brush. Um, you can use any brush you want. I just like the look of this oily brush. Now, before we start, do remember to start your screen recording. Uh, always record everything you're about to write and then finish recording at the end of your word sentence or whatever that you're creating, okay? And also a word of notice, uh, always create everything in one successful attempt. What I mean by that is if you make a mistake during your writing and you go back and you delete that letter and you rewrite again, try not to do that because that's a complete video and we would have to edit that out in Premiere Pro, it's just a lot of effort. Uh, it's much more beneficial, much easier if you just create the complete sentence or the word in one go, okay? So let's start. So for demonstration purpose, I'm just gonna use turpentine and the color is white, okay? Now let's choose a brush size, so maybe about 70. I'm just gonna write a very quick intro, uh, maybe just vlog the four letters. Vlog. Let's show you a couple of other ways I can use the brush here. Um, so hopefully I can give you some uh, creative ideas and then you can implement this yourself. Now turn up the brush and we can draw a banner. So let's do this. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Now you can save this as a own, like a video on its own and import that as a video banner and then you can import text on top of this in Premiere Pro. Alternatively, what you can do is you can also write extra text on this. So I'm gonna use the same word, but this time I'm gonna use black instead, okay? And let's just create something. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. There you go. And I will save this as video and import this as a separate file into Premiere Pro. Now, apart from blank canvases, you can also use photos. So for example, I've used a photo here just for demonstration purpose, I'll import one. Uh, let's say this one, okay, and I want to say highlight the bag, right? I could circle it and then I could draw an arrow and I will say bag and the dress if I like it I can also highlight the dress or the you know the top of the dress and I will say dress Now you can also animate the photos for example, you can draw like you know sparkles or all these kind of things like that and it will animate as you draw. So per your recording, you can animate this in Premiere Pro, okay? Now, another way which I think is actually quite helpful is when you see those travel shows and they have the map of animated map, well, you can do this in here as well. So I've imported a map, just the screenshot of the Forbidden City here in Beijing. Um, I'm gonna edit this out. So for example, I'm gonna follow the footpath all the way up and enter into the middle right gate. This is the second point of contact and then we entered the palace all the way to the palace museum our third uh, rendezvous point so called and then we exit all the way to the right which is the back left gate ironically okay so the back left gate and then as we exit it's been a long day of walking and i was really tired so we followed the path down and we're like mm, let's go get a drink so we follow the path all the way and then go up to luck and coffee where we got a very nice hot espresso. 
excuse my poor kindergarten drawing, but you get the point. So this is something you can do as well. Very helpful. And if you like it, hey, go for it. Okay, so these are the basic concept. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how it's all edited and implemented into a video. Now, this is the recording that I did before. I'm just gonna quickly trim this and then we can get onto it. So let's get to it. First, let's delete all the audio tracks. So hold Alt and Shift and delete that. Now, apologies, my Premiere Pro is in Chinese, but I will be explaining everything in English and you can just follow along. It's exactly the same position. It's very simple. You don't need any special effects or anything like that. So you can do this in any Premiere Pro. Here's a clip that of my New Zealand trip. It's just a very simple introduction. Uh, I wanna add a text just before New Zealand comes up. So let's do that. And to do that, all you have to do is drag it to the very start. Now, first of all, let's trim this clip so make sure it's make sure it's at the right beginning, it's right there. Okay, trim that off and trim that off. Okay, so I use Q and W as a shortcut to trim the start and the end of a clip. Now, drag that to the front. Let's have a look. Okay, so now it's covering the video, no problem. The first thing we want to do is trim the borders. So you can see it's got the borders. Let's do that. All we need is look for crop. Okay, look for crop in your effects folder and then just drag it in. So I have the same settings and then basically it's saying left, right, top and bottom. All you have to do is crop the side percentage to a certain amount based on your rec based on your video. So for me, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. All you have to do is just crop a little bit, you know, as long as you're not cutting into the actual text. Um, I'm not gonna do anything to the right. The bottom looks fine. So right about there. Now for the magic, all you have to do is change the blending mode. So in effects control panels, change the blending mode to screen. So I'm here in Chinese, but it's yours is a screen. So go to screen and everything black will just disappear and transparent and everything white will be left on the screen. As simple as that and you've got yourself a good intro. Now the writing is a little bit slow. So I wanna turn this speed up a little bit by controlling control R. All right, just turn up the time remapping here and then adjust the speed to about 300%. So it's a little bit faster now. And let's play that. Here we go. So adjust accordingly, uh, whatever you want to do. Now, one way we can play around with this is you can add a static frame. So last frame, um, simply just by going to the last frame and then right click and you can add a, uh, I think the English translation is still image or frame hold. So you basically you add that in and then you can drag the clip forward. So you've got a static frame there. And then what you can do is copy the first video by holding Alt, so just drag it, so you make a replica, and then go to Control R again and play it re in reverse. So click the box that says play in reverse, and what happened is you've got yourself an intro, and then it will play in reverse. That's the basic principles. Now there's a couple of ways you can play around with this. So let your imagination creative go. You know, for example, we've got the banner here, so let's do that as well. Now first, let's copy the crop settings from the previous video. So I'm just gonna crop, copy, and then paste that so I don't have to trim the border again. And drag this on top to my video. I'm just gonna put it on top right here, right about here, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna trim that video clip so it's nice and clean, and then it's gonna start. Now, blending mode, once again, set it to screen bang, you've got yourself a nice banner. Now what I'm gonna do is add a text or a banner inside. Now to do this, just press T, so you add a text banner. I'm just gonna write, don't forget to subscribe or like this video and subscribe. Important tip, remember to use the text in black. Okay, the reason for that is I'll show you right now. So let's trim the text off so nice and even. So that's what it looks like now. Okay, now what you wanna do is nest this. So right click and nest, right? So look for nest, and then it's gonna create one composition or one video clip. And then we're gonna use the blending mode again, go to screen, and now let's look at it. See that? Now it's a little bit fast, so we're gonna add a fr frame hold or a steel frame. We go, insert a frame hold, okay? And now we have, perfect. I think I spelled that wrong. Now, here's a good thing about this is, if you spell something wrong, you can go in here, just change it. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Dupe me. Or maybe I'm just hinting you to do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so let's do this. All right, so see, as you make adjustments to the text, it will automatically change to everything that you've done. 
So that's super convenient, okay? So that's a couple of ways you can play with it. Um, likewise, so with the photos before, um, with the map, uh, what you can do is you can also animate the map. So the map is already animated. And all you have to do is maybe trim the borders because it's a bit dirty. Let's trim the borders, so leave that. Let's trim the top a little bit. Here we go. Let's trim the right side. Okay, so that looks like a good map. Now you want to scale it so it fits the screen. Here we go. And then you can play this as it is. So you've already got an animated map. Now if it's too slow, hey, you know, speed it up a bit. So I'm gonna go 700 this time. It's a bit laggy. I don't know if it's my screen recording or it's my computer, but you get the idea. Now, you can also animate this. So as you kind of start off, you can start off big, you know, at the bottom, right? And then as you kind of moves, you follow the track and then, you know, upwards. Just make sure you don't clip the screen with the black bars. So, you know, you don't want to show too much black. You know, you can always adjust the keyframe as well. So click on the keyframe, highlight the keyframe, right click, and then choose uh, easy in or easy out. So I'm going to go easy in, and then it's very, it's a lot more smoother. Uh, just something that I like to do. But that's it. Very simple, uh, very creative ways that you can use this. All of these components can be layered on top of each other. So you can do a lot of things. Just keep in mind black is transparent and white is what actually shows through. Okay, you can also invert the colors as well, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, well, hope that was helpful. If you have more ideas, more creative ideas, feel free to add me and tag me, and maybe I can learn something from you as well. Next week, I'm gonna teach you how to camera track so you can camera track these texts with your video so that it actually moves per your camera movement. It kind of really takes your video to the next level, so to say. Uh, but that's for next week. If you liked today's video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And uh, I guess I'll see you again next week.